cast your mind back ten years or so ago. A team full of wide-eyed kids, led by a few battle-hardened veterans, took the game by storm. Does it sound at all familiar? Tonight, a team used to winning, a club as successful as any, takes on one who knows of the struggle, but one whose tomorrows promise so very, very much. The past meets the future in a battle for the here and now. This promises to be a beauty. And as the wheel of history keeps turning, one man remains constant. Kevin Sheedy is with Christy Malthouse. Well, Kevin, last week was almost done Essendon-like. From what you've seen of the team since then, what are you expecting tonight? Well, we'll play very well tonight. Um, yeah, we had some problems with the team last week, there's no doubt about that. It's a much different sort of lineup tonight. Um, and I think we should play better because we let our fans down and ourselves down last week. Uh, got a much more experienced side in. And, um, yeah, the boys are pretty hungry and pretty fresh. So, from one way, that's good. And, we, and it's very important for us for the next tonight plus the next two or three weeks too. Were you tests and killed her physically tonight? Sorry? Were you tests and killed her physically? Um, look, they've been doing all the testing lately. <laughs> Lately, so um, we'll see what it's about, but it'll be a very, very good first quarter for a start, and we'll see, see how we all stand up um, in the first sort of 30 minutes, and I'd say that the fans won't be let down the first quarter. Well, good luck. There's the champ, the skipper for the Bombers, James Hurd. Who are you tipping, guys? I guess St Kilda deserves to start favourites. They do deserve to start favourites. Oh, here we go. Yeah, they'll get into Aaron Hamill. See that little bit of a, a little tap? Knee? Yeah, little yeah. tap to the back. He will be targeted, Aaron Hamill, no doubt about that. And uh, particularly at centre bounces, if he goes flying in off the line, expect to get hit. Well, she started already at the dome. It could be on for Young and Old tonight as we have the first bounce. Both Ruckman miss it. Coming through his ball. Got the first handball out to Goddard. Sweeps it over to Lenny Hayes. And the captain for St Kilda is away. The first clear possession's a good one. Hits Aussie Jones is in red hot form. Chips it over to Powell. He can run on here. Swings onto the left from 50. Ooh. He gets floored. It's downfield. And it's just stupid. Leave it go. He's, you've got the kick. You've got the kick. Walk on us. Just stupid football. Give away a goal. We knew they'd be aggressive, but you cannot go over the top. Well, if you're going to give away a, a free goal like that, you at least make them hurt, don't you? Yeah. Gee, Henneman at the opening bounce absolutely flew in off the line. Didn't connect with anybody, but, uh, geez, did he come in hard? Nick Rewald. 15 metres out, as good as directly in front. Shouldn't miss from here, and doesn't. Sikuda away. Bolton has gone back and lined up on Rewalt. Lucas is at centre-half forward. That one was a gift. Well, have a look at that. A little bit of a uh, knee to the buttock from Mark Johnson. And letting Aaron Hamill know it is on. So McPhee on Hamill, Bolton on Rewalt, Fletcher on Gary, Lucas at half forward. Saints with the first. The umpires, Scott McLaren, Matthew Nichols, Martin Ellis. Same three we had last Saturday night in Brisbane. Peveril for Essendon. The Bombers turn perhaps. A steal low. Ball to Jones, who's been in great form. Powell again. And this time not felled after the Fight off the ball, Tim. Fight off the ball. There is the ball loose. Danger still for Essendon. But Hurt beat Rewalt to the ball. Umpires running everywhere. Reserve umpire out onto the ground as Bullen marks just clear of the 50 for the Dons. They're the last two to get up. It was uh, Stephen Mill and Mark Johnson. Gary was also amongst the action. Well, you tip this, Stephen. So the Bombers away from half back. Kick to McVeigh. Caught one high. Should have been a free kick. It is. Has that was a cheap it. shot from Maguire. And McVeigh didn't like the treatment. Well, there was some thought that. Uh, we'll have a look at this. Mark Johnson just niggling, niggling, niggling. He's got the angry pills in, has Mark. So McVeigh at half forward. I thought McVeigh might have started on Mill, but uh, no, he started up forward. Looking for Lloyd. Well played by Penny. Voss. Kick ricochets off Murphy. Throw in. 
spectacular call by the boundary umpire, which we just missed. He did a pirouette as he almost lost his footing. Now, that was the incident that produced the 50 that led to the first goal. Busy night for the umpires. Bombers in attack, Solomon dangerous. Well tackled. Rioli, just not able to get it cleanly onto the boot. Hurt can, just couldn't get the leverage. And that'll be a throw in. Hit the post, throw it in. Thanks, Glenn, good call. Fiery start. Big crowd at Telstra Dome. Big night in store. Ozzy Jones taken out of the action. They'll try to keep him on the last line of defence. Blocking defense. by Gayard. It is blocked in. So a blocking free kick from that uh, ruck contest is going St Kilda's way. It was against Murphy. It's going to Baker. Deep inside his own defensive 50. Well, they would have been well and truly warned about this, the St Kilda players. Can they withstand this initial onslaught? So far, so good for St Kilda. Goddard's kick's not all that flash. Rewald couldn't get there on time, and Ravanaskis takes the kick on centre wing. Just did enough to be awarded the mark. Probing left footer. Reynolds the big run at it. All St Kilda, Hayes, clever. Boss, not so good. Puts Jones under pressure. Has plenty of help. Goddard again. Now Hayes. Untidy. Just manages to clear Allen. Hamill almost ran into his former Carlton teammate. Peveril bravely wins a free. Gods want to play on and they're allowed to. McCurry now, the veteran. Oh, shouldn't have lost his footing there. Holds the bombers up. McVeigh. And a relay free. Yes, it is. Lucas, too far out even for him. Another fight on behind play, too. And got it. Gee, it's on uh, away from that. Hamill and McPhee are going toe to toe. McGuire's in there, Del Santo caught one. Oh, and Murphy crashing into Hamill because he reckons he owes him one. Oh, it's off the ball, Solomon and Mill. And down goes Rewald against Mark Johnson, too. Mark, Mark it's Johnson on the wing. Him. It is on the wing, big Her time. Goes. On the wing, medallion club side. There's about three or four little bushfires going at the moment. Well, Rewald came in to defend Hamill, and as he came in, Mark Johnson hit him with a hip and shoulder. Bang! Down he went. Well, remember that Wizard Cup semi-final. Essendon came out hard, but St Kilda came out harder and absolutely dominated the early part. Essendon doing all they can to unsettle the Saints, and they've drawn blood at one end of the ground. Heard kicking a goal at the other. Some claret coming from Hamill's forehead. Well, we thought this might be on. We got a bit of a whisper, and it's turned out to be the case. And in comes Murphy. Well, former Carlton teammates in Allen and Hamill. So we start in the middle again. Oh. Here's Ball. Kicks it inside 50. Hamill will get there first. Trapped it beautifully. Swings onto the left. Decides the handball. Over to Hayes. Sidesteps. Gets run down by Ramanaskis. Free kick. Going the bottom's way. Play on the call. McCurry finds Allen at half back. Chips to the wing. McVeigh's been busy early. Takes the mark. Looks for the lead from Lloyd. Getting there first is Penny. Gets crunched as he can kick the ball. Did it nicely, though. Del Santo, quick hands to Noble. Puts Del Santo under the hammer, but he's up to it. Swings onto the left and finds Goddard at halfback. That's a lovely kick. Beautiful weight on that for Ball. And St Kilda are dangerous here. Gehrig and Fletcher. Milne trying to get his boot on him. It's in danger. Advantage. advantage called. Peveril to run an and Essendon right in the heat of this contest at home in it. Reynolds, Ramanauskas again. Heard pushing and shaving and winning a free kick. James, James, James. Dangerous early as the champion. Henneman. Well, Aussie. And loose is bull and he should snare this. And he can go back and have a shot. Ozzy Jones on James Hurd, not a good matchup. Hurd will destroy him in the air. 
Well, time for us to catch our breath. Just interesting, Tim. Grant Thomas would have known it would have been on for young and old. He has decided to play his young brigade at the opening bounce. Del Santo, Ball, Goddard and Clark. Bullen to put the Dons in front by one point. Hamill off, bleeding from the forehead. He was able to stay on initially despite the flow of blood. Christy, Christy. Malthouse. Yeah, Aaron Hamill has gone straight down into the rooms. He had quite a lot of blood gushing from his forehead there, so he looks like he might, may need a couple of stitches. Well, that'll be investigated. He is bleeding, so under the AFL rules, an investigation will be launched as to why he was bleeding. So we'll try and find some replays. There's plenty happening off the ball. Ramanaskis, great hands to Hurd. Little chip round the corner. Doesn't quite come off. Murphy gets rid of Hayes. Sweeping onto it as Lucas. Nice turn. Now gets it to Rioli. Left foot snap. Rioli misses. Just uh, some errant handballs by St Kilda. Good pressure being put on by the bomber forwards. Yes, that untidy disposal, and we've seen a few of them suggesting they have been slightly unsettled. Now, Ball, a good long option here for the Saints. Good to see them in their striped jumpers so that there are no problems between these two, as there have been at times in the past. Neat kick from Ball, perfect for Black, who was a star in their Wizard Cup semi-final win. Now Gehrig and Fletcher again. Gehrig winning but not holding on to the mark. The left foot fooled them almost. Rewalt. Now Hayes too far out. Just steadying it neatly. And Milne too far for Clark. All Essendon. And Allen sensibly giving it off. McPhee now placing it beautifully for Lucas. Covering a lot of ground. And the Bombers hold firm. They lead by two points. James Hurd six disposals. Centering kick by Lucas is a beauty. Finds Ramanaskis, who squeezes it out wide to Peveril, who's got about 40 metres on his nearest opponent. Peveril now decides to go long. Looks for McVeigh. Nudged his opponent black underneath the footy. Good handball. Here's a chance for Murphy. It's a high ball to the tip of the goal square. Henneman camped underneath it. Swooping on it is Rioli. Can't evade the Voss tackle. Twenty out for the Bombers' goal. What an opening we have had here at Telstra Dome. Get him up, get him up. Play on. Noble the tap. Ball. Power. Throw in. And again, good pressure by the Essendon forwards. They were outnumbered, but they were for able to force that ball out of bounds. So that's a victory to the Bombers. Hayes on herd now. No holds up. Look at the footy, Mark. Bombers press. Henneman pushing and shoving. Hurt dangerous again. Slipping under the Hayes charge. Clever kick. Brilliant kick. Vintage James Hurd. He has them both and he has his teammate points up. Well, he, that is just sensational. We'll have a look at it again. Watch the way he drops the ball up one step, angles the ball, kicks across it, cuts it back. Wonderful goal. Well, this is why James Hurd is one of the all-time greats. Courage, balance, skill, goal. What a star. Christy Malthouse. Well, Mark Johnson has just come off the ground for a rest. He probably needs it after all of those scuffles and his jumper looking a little worse for wear. He'd be thriving on uh, this sort of a contest. Far out, says the umpire. Bad bounce. Ramanaskis shanks the kick. Mark taken by Dal Santo. Harvey's started on the bench. He's on now. Fine. Oh, fine rewall. Downfield. Harvey downfield. Yep. Yep. They're making them earn against every Hurt. kick. Wasn't much of that. So Nick Rewall, another relayed free kick for him. Looking for Gary, getting back as Allen. And great body work by Fletcher to enable Allen to mark unopposed. Yeah, Fraser Gehrig will uh, have no easy kicks tonight. He's in good form. As Bullen through the corridor to half four. The kick finds Reynolds. 
And the Bombers press once more. The 50 is open, and Murphy always oh, should have swallowed that. Ball knocks it up for St Kilda. And they get off the hook. Two of their whiz kids, Ball and Goddard. And now Noble. Allen just arriving in time. Still the Saints are dangerous. Voss to Powell. But Disposal lets them down again. And Hurd is doing it all. Well, it was a lousy kick by Powell, but James Hurd working hard to get back to help his key defenders. The former Blue Ruckman has been good early, Matthew Allen. Rioli giving it off and Hurd another Disposal. He's almost in double figures, Rob. Nine. Just as I said, Reynolds, <laughs> Lloyd Longley, a long way from home. Bombers lead by eight points. They've rattled St Kilda. And they're dangerous once more. Who can run onto this? Can Ramanowskis on his wrong side? Oh, he's under pressure. Well, Rob, are the Saints rattled? Oh, they are, they are at the moment. They, look at their forward line. Uh, Essendon have got them completely out of position. That's little Mill by himself back there. And McVeigh going back to cover him. Fresh airy by Penny. McGuire no, got legs. It's okay to be told about something coming up, but to actually be out there and copying it oh, no, is another thing. Off. And there's no doubt a few of them are shaken at the moment. Oh. Baker in the back pocket. Beautiful kick. Finds Goddard, who's been pretty good too early. They need to get Hamill back on. If Hamill's been patched up, they need to get him on just for psychological reasons. Rewalt. Good, strong lead. Marks in front of Bolton. Because Essendon have got a victory, having forced him from the field. So the sooner they can patch Hamill up and get him on, the better. There he is. That's mine. Yep. Oh, it's a poor kick by Rewalt. Straight down the throat of McCurry. Yeah, and Bombers getting numbers back. St Kilda too slow, moving the ball forward. To Lucas doesn't panic. Kicks to a one-on-one -on -one contest. Thompson in his 150th is on. Peveril did well to keep his feet. Well played, Peveril. To McPhee. Back to Peveril. He's got Lucas in support. And Lucas will bang it long. It's a penetrating kick. Looking for her. Good defense by Kozitski in the end. And now the Saints have the footy. Voss now just Martin forward of the centre. Gehrig starts to go. That's where Voss heads. Fletcher there with the telescopic arm, but he got him over the shoulder in the opinion of umpire Nichols. I've seen worse go unchecked by the umpire, but closer inspection might well. Well, uh, I think, well, as you say, Tim, we've seen that happen many times, and it's just a play on decision. Saw it on the replay there. Essendon fans not happy at all. Fletcher virtually on the paint of the 50. So it's a long testing shot. Saints need something. Need someone to stand up. Gary could do that for them here. That's a lovely kick. Oh, did it carry? Not quite. Clip the post. Dons lead by seven points. So 2-2 two, two plays 1-1. One, one. She's been a hectic opening quarter of Fletcher's kick. Is dodgy to say the least. Running onto it is Ball, who misses the opportunity. In Ooh. fairness to him, he was off balance when he kicked. Dicing with death there, Robert Walls. Yes, a very dangerous kick. There's James Hurd. He's blowing pretty hard because he's given absolutely everything. He's gone to centre half forward, playing on Maguire. Yep. Fletcher looking for Ramanaskis. Again, St Kilda's get the numbers. St Kilda get the numbers around the ball. Ball to Voss. Great tackle by McPhee. Mine. Bounce. Mine, easy now. No chance. Scotty Lucas is around this contest, and I just get the feeling that Lucas and Hurd are changing between centre half forward and on ball. Perfect bounce. Clean Play tap, on. Allen. Thompson the steal. Solomon. Harvey the smoke. And that ball is not coming out. My ball. The Dons by a goal. Haven't gained great traction despite the fact that they've had the better of the first 15 or 20 minutes of the match. Still we wait for Hamill, who will come out steaming, I'd imagine. 
Uh, Hayes hands a bit too fast for his teammates. That's high. Too high. Too high. Too high. Too high. Too high. Luke Ball been good early. The hands again a little untidy. Hayes wide. Gehrig. And a nice little shepherd by Milne. Yeah, Milne was wonderful in that situation. We'll get another look at it. But little Stevie Milne just got in the way of Fletcher to enable his big teammate to take that mark without any pressure on him whatsoever. Milne coming off for Hamill. That's his reward for putting his body on the line. Yes, well, he did, and he did it well. You can just see there, he just blocked the run of Fletcher. Didn't make it all that obvious, so the umpire had to let it go. So a second crack at them for Fraser Gehrig. He's had a sighter. He's a bit closer. But he's a bit wider. Margin five points. If the Saints can withstand this physical onslaught, and there's Brett Voss being moved back onto James Hurd. Hurd's had about four opponents in this first quarter, but I think that's a good matchup, Voss for Hurd. If the Saints can withstand this physical onslaught and at quarter time just be a goal or two behind, I think they'll be sitting okay. McPhee short to Masiti. Gets it back. Oh. Mucking around with it, the Bombers, will they pay a price? Black wins it for St Kilda, gives it to Clark. Clark should go the direct route. No, he doesn't, he chips it short for Dal Santo. Great trap on the half volley. Gives it back to Clark, over use of the footy. Now the Bombers away again. McPhee to Rioli, breaks the tackle. Out in front of Lloyd, on the 50. Got Ramanaskis in support, handballs poor. Ramanaskis loses it. Gee, it's precious stuff out there at the moment. Lloyd again. This time the handball's a little bit better. To Smoke and Joe. He's 50 out. Not sure what to do with it. Stops. Props goes short and finds Lucas, who perhaps is within scoring range. He'll be kicking from about 55 out. Well, he does like a goal. And it's clear that handball is not the natural option of a full forward like Matthew Lloyd. <laughs> Two dodgy ones, weren't there? He did pretty well there, Smoking Joe. He just waited and waited, didn't overcommit, opened up his vision, and finally somebody ran into it, and that was Scotty Lucas. So Lucas taking plenty of time. Equal best and fairest last season. Kicked one goal last week for a career total of 2-2-8. He gives it everything. But uh, offline and one point. Let's go down to Christy Malthouse. We're just keeping an eye on Mark Johnson at the moment. As we know, he's just come back from a hamstring injury. He's come off the ground and he had a rub down and he went for a, a, a jog along, around the boundary. But then he spoke to the doctor and he's been sitting on the bench ever since. Maguire missing the target. The Saints have missed plenty. Del Santo, natural left footer, didn't quite make the sweet contact off the ground. Clark now getting a little bit of it in the last couple of minutes and the Saints building to something here. Blake to Rewalt, clever centering ball, Gehrig opening the door, big chance here. Kaczynski from the angle, second poster. Kaczynski has been playing in defence, playing on Hill and Henneman and Allen, playing on the taller Ruckman who goes forward. Up the middle goes Fletcher. Saints have numbers around the ball at the moment. Thompson, the bottom of the pack is Peveril. We'll have another bounce. Mark Alvey on for his first run for his new team, the former Bulldog. He was a late inclusion tonight for Jason Johnson, who hurt himself at training. There's Milne sitting on the bench. Rioli, nice tap to Masiti, stripped of the ball. Blake gives it to Harvey, looking for Gehrig once again. What a battle that's been with Fletcher so far. Hamill bursts through, misses the football. Masiti. Hamill again attacks it. Well played, McPhee. Powell to Harvey. Advantage. Advantage paid into the pocket. Clark, free kick mark, whatever you like. Well played, Xavier Clark. And he will line up from 30 out. Just starting to win more ball in close, the Saints. They just seem around the contest right? they have one or two more players. Yeah, they've been winning in the last five or six minutes. And Mark McCurry would be uncomfortable playing on that last line of defence. And that moment almost 
personifying our opener tonight, one of the whiz kids of 93 against one of the whiz kids of 2004. Should have missed this, Xavier Clark, and he puts it right through the middle for the same second. Well, the Saints hit the lead, Rob. 16 plays 15. Perhaps they have withstood the onslaught. Well, I thought if it caught it... After the first five minutes, when we saw what was being served up by Essendon, which was really hard and aggressive and good stuff, I just thought if the Saints could be thereabouts at quarter time, you'd consider that a victory for them because uh, this sort of an onslaught would be something that they haven't experienced before. He'd be pretty well pleased, I would think. They've weathered an early storm and they've put their noses in front late in the opening quarter. Hill in ruck now for the Dons. Kaczynski in the centre square. Well tackled but did well to get it to Voss. Here comes Hamill again and kept coming at Solomon. Here's Blake. Can he break the tackle? Yes, this will be a big goal. Would have been. Could have been. Saints by two points. Well, Jason Blake is there part-time ruckman his mobility is his strength around the ground really is an athlete the see he gives it back to Fletcher from the kick in and finds Peveril six disposal coming out for Peveril looks for Rioli couldn't quite hang on to it Reynolds did well back to Rioli kicks slews off the side of the boot Boltman successfully tries to knock it on Rewald at half back puts it out in front of Harvey He's got power and support. Another Frank free kick for a cheap shot. Yeah, Solomon. Solomon. Down here, yours, Pally. And down, 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 Dean down, Solomon down. just has to control his aggression. Okay to be aggressive, but not when you give away free kicks. Don't clock down here. From memory, that's about the Thanks third or fourth down. relay kick in this and game against Essendon so far. And Lucas down there in front of the path that Gehrig will leave into. So Lucas. The extra man, you can see him there just blocking the path of Hamill and Gehrig. Mark McCurry there as well. So they're putting the squeeze on the leading space of the uh, Bix and Kilda forwards. Pretty much all defence for the Dons at the moment. Fletcher with a big arm in there. Hamill and Bolton. Clark in the midst of it again. But plenty of bombers. I reckon Aaron Hamill would have had a bit of time to think about things after coming off with the blood rule spending 10 minutes on the interchange and I would think he'd be pretty fired up because he knows they've come after him and he knows that uh, well the country's watching so he's got to bounce back he's got to perform Hill nicely to uh, McVeigh but that's not so well placed Hayes the chance to load it up again and he has them queuing up in midfield Voss is one of them now Powell just freeing up everywhere now the Saints but the Don's back in numbers. Peckett now from a long way. It's a long kick, a very long kick. And Tim, you called the Essendon players dropping back to help out. While they drop back, it means that St Kilda's got extra numbers up around that 50 metre arc. And they set that goal up superbly, the Saints. They just chipped and chipped and chipped until they found a teammate who was about 55 metres out with a bit of space. Once he received it, he could run and kick. Saints by eight points. Centre clearances so far in the game. 5-0 in favour of St Kilda. Peveril. But this is another set of clearance for the Saints. Make that 6-0. Rewalt the half forward. Hamill has it fisted away. Couple of bombers here. Lucas almost collides with a teammate. Now Solomon. Long kick. Bolton's outnumbered, but still won. Well played by Bolton. Handballs onto Ravanaskis on his favoured side. Into the goal square. Against Matthew Lloyd. Desperately trying to shepherd Penny out of that and allow it to go through. Overdid it. Hayes. Saints away again. McCurry and Clark. Peveril first man back for the Dons. Now Masiti. And Rioli, who's been pretty good in this first quarter. 
Oh, strong tackle that on Powell. And the ball comes loose. Now Murphy can kick the ball long. Places it beautifully, but the siren beat McVeigh. The Saints are saved by the bell. They preserve their eight-point lead, no doubt about that. And it's St Kilda having the better of a torrid opening turn. They took the best Essendon could throw at them. They did, Tim. I thought the first 15 minutes of that quarter, St Kilda were rattled. And why wouldn't you be when you had the aggression coming at you like the bomber served up? But the last half of that quarter, they settled down, they got their composure, they started to chip it round and able to get some goals on the board. It's a beauty at the Telstra Day. There's been blood, there's been blues, and it caught it. Bombers press. Henneman pushing and shoving. Heard dangerous again. Slipping under the Hayes charge. Clever kick. Brilliant kick. It was brilliant from James Hurd. He's got both Essendon's goals, but they trail at the first break 2 3 to 3 5. Ball and Hayes, the major ball winners for the Saints, while Hurd's got nine and Peveril eight for the Bombers. What a quarter it was. We predicted fireworks, we heard some whispers, and that's what we got, Robert Walls. Well, we did, and uh, we'll see Xavier Clark there, young fella for the Saints. I thought it was really significant that Grant Thomas put his young players out there for the start. And there's Aaron Hamill. Well, four against one at that stage. And he was off for about 10 minutes while they patched him up. He's only had the one disposal, but there's no doubt that uh, Hamill and Rewalt were the ones that uh, they were trying to stir up. Here's Terry Danaher at the uh, first quarter break. Just saying, use your heads, boys. Let's have a think about things. Of course, former Bomber legend. It would give the young St Kilda players enormous confidence to have Terry Danaher in the, in the group, in there with them, because they know that he's been a hard player in his day, and he would be telling them how to handle the situation. But, gee, the clearances in that first quarter, Tim, the further the quarter went, the more St Kilda started to dominate the clearances. They were well on top by the end of the term, and uh, if that trend continues, Essendon could have their hands full. Christy Malthouse. Well, it was a fiery first term, but luckily for both clubs, no real injury concerns. Obviously, Aaron Hamill had a gash in his forehead taken care of. Mark Johnson is starting this second term on the bench for Essendon. He's received a lot of attention to his lower back and his hamstring, so that is a worry for them. A lot of players have also fallen over in that first quarter, and the grass here does seem a little bit longer than at other grounds, and I wonder whether that's having an effect on both teams. And besides that, the atmosphere has been electric here. The roof is closed, the supporters have packed in, and it really is an electric atmosphere. There's Danny Frawley, Tiger coach, having a look at it. Long sleep 10 well. days for the Tigers, isn't it? He'll sleep well tonight because he wouldn't have got much last night. <laughs> so we start this second term, the Saints by eight points. Allen got first hand to it. Ball's kick was smothered. Del Santo back to ball. To Harvey, ball again. Knocking up, getting the football. Holding on! Go for him, Marty! Just grabbing around here, Holden. When? When was it? Just holding him there. Against Mark, Bolton, going yeah, to Rewald. Mark Bolton can't believe it. But again, a clearance by the Saints. And they had two or three cracks at it. And that is the area that is hurting Essendon at the moment. Free kicks, 10 St Kilda, 6 Essendon. Nick Rewalt from right on 50. Kicked three last week. And that will remain his season tally to date. One point. He and Gehrig and Milne and Hamill kicked 14 between them when St Kilda beat Essendon a few weeks ago in that Wizard Cup match. Rioli receiving. And Allen dropping in short for him. Almost underran it. Saints by nine points. Allen kicking to a one-on-one -on -one here and beautifully done by Maguire. Taking Lu uh, Lucas under the ball. Gehrig now. Oh, what a fine mark that was. On his wrong side. Just can't straighten. And does well to centre it for Hamill. Yes! It was an amazing bit of play. The mark by Gehrig in between two bombers. Why he played on. And you can see Rioli coming back. 
and Allen there, and neither really went hard enough. But why Gehrig played on to get onto his non-preferred side, we'll never know. But he did it to perfection because he ended up being on his right boot and he squared it to Aaron Hamill, who was able to juggle the mark. For a 15-point lead from point-blank range. He's done it. So the heavyweights up forward are starting to make their presence felt. Well, two, three strong marks, Tim. We see uh, Maguire take that one over Lucas. Gehrig in the middle of the sandwich there. That's a good mark. And the squared up kick gets to Hamill. So three in a row. Only two and a half minutes have expired in the second term. Robert, would you agree that the signs are a little bit shaky for the Bombers? Well, there's certainly you know, that uh, aggressive output in the first ten minutes has dropped right off, which you'd expect it to. Harvey to half forward, looks for Hayes. Hurd gets back. Possession number ten for the skipper of the Bombers. Henneman. And we'll have a throw in. Just in the first couple of minutes of this second quarter, there's been 16 free kicks paid. And that's a lot in that amount of time, because usually in a game we have around about the 30, 35 free kicks paid. So 16 virtually after one quarter makes you think that uh, the umpires have certainly been on the lookout, realising how volatile this game could be. McVeigh to Peveril, who's been very busy. Long kick looking for Lloyd. Courageous play by Voss. Slipping over at the crucial moment was Jones. Del Santos in there. Voss again. Well snared by Penny to Aussie Jones. The Saints defence is up to it. Well played under pressure as Del Santo clears beautifully. And how much more confident they play in that exchange than in the first 10 minutes. That was crisp and sure. Harvey, good disposal this time for Noble. And St Kilda build dangerously. Powell on his wrong side. Does well to Maguire. An open 50. Rewalt. He'll be dangerous on the ground as well. Saints outnumbered there. And Bolton, given the advantage call, clears for Allen. And Essendon supporters delighted to get a free kick. I think they've been hard done by it. Now McPhee. Mungrel kick, and again that turf that Christy mentioned at quarter time brings Harvey to grief. Ball, big possession earner, biggest on the ground in the first quarter. That doesn't deserve to be a stat as he missed the target. Free kicks 10 7 in favour of the Saints. We did notice the turf that it did appear long when we were out there, Robert. It did, it? it was pretty slippery. We see Ozzy Jones right on the last line of defence, and he's being dragged out of the action by his Essendon opponent, Reynolds. Powell. Gets the handball to Noble, who sees it safely over the line. Love the Saints jumpers. I do too. It's, it's a terrific strip. That's the heritage strip, isn't it? Heard somehow gets boot to ball to vacant territory at half forward. Maguire caught high through tackle. So McGuire at halfback. That's a, that's a fault in Murphy's game. He gives away too many reckless free kicks. Penny. That's an ordinary kick. Rioli camped underneath it. Now McVeigh. Saw his brother Dabu last week for the Swans, impressively. Lloyd, standing his ground, was Voss. Tremendous stuff. So Matty Lloyd has spent the last two or three minutes virtually in the centre square. Bit of muscle on him nowadays. Terrific stuff from Voss. He is as unflinching a player as there is in the cop. Black in trouble. And the Saints still in a jam. Solomon just didn't get enough on the kick under pressure. Here comes Hurd. Still Hurd. Oh. Brilliant effort. Got out now mopping up for the Saints. Hurd outnumbered and overwhelmed. Penny to Milne. And the Saints can rebound here. They have the open 50 now. Milne taking them all on. Voss again. There's advantage. Yes, it is. 
Not that there was a great Let's advantage in it for St Kilda. Kaczynski now. now Here's Hamill. Well, all that's gone on. Solomon's had uh, Milne in a headlock for 30 seconds. Gary and Fletcher. Fletcher's had his hands full. Mercury. Oh, he's got himself in a strife. Bolton now. Great pressure from St Kilda. Rioli. And eventually the Bombers, at least for the moment, off the hook. Kaczynski, fist from behind. Hamill, front and centre. Tackle when he didn't have it. Umpire let it go. He was tackled when he didn't have it. Had the ball, Hamill. And the umpire... Look at Let's Murphy. Murphy and oh, Hamill. Um, I suggest there's a bit of bad blood between those two. It was Hamill who crashed into Murphy's back in the Wizard Cup game about a month ago. Allen won the tap. Bodies everywhere. Hamill's one oh. of them. Oh, she. <laughs> Murphy's into him. Murphy's into Hamill off the ball. As it goes to half forward for the Bombers, but the mark's taken by Maguire. And now there's two on one. McPhee and Murphy are taking on Hamill. Emergency umpire's out. He's got to come out of there. He'll sleep well tonight, Aaron Hamill. Time to get back on. Old Carlton teammates. Hamill and Murphy. No love lost. Maguire. For Goddard with a height advantage on Ramanauskas. Voss been very good. Del Santo, natural left footer. His disposal rarely lets him down. Powell, not so good. Bolton wanting to play on. Rewalt wouldn't let him. Bombers not really able to build anything. McPhee to Peveril. Fooled them there. Came back onto the right. Now Allen, who can only use his left. Quite agile for a big man. Here's a foot race. Baker outstripping Alvi. Good tackle. Kozitski now. One on one all over the ground. Baker now. Clean takeaway. This is better for the Saints. And that's a good delivery. He's got a loose man on him. Thompson, if he can sidestep. He's got Rewalt longer. Beautiful kick by Milne. It's a ripper. And Rewalt will line up from 35 out as good as directly in front. Just wonder if Fletcher could have got there. More concerned, more concerned with stopping Gary. We'll see this. He's dropped back out of play. Rewalt. Kick goes in. Don't really see Fletcher in picture there, but he was just making very sure that Gary, his opponent, wasn't going to get that ball. Rewalt's got one. And it's probably the only part of the game, Rob, that lets him down at this early stage, the set shot at goal. Yep. And I'll tell you what, by the time his career's over, he will have mastered that. Luke Ball in picture has had 13 disposals. Highest possession getter on the ground. A long time since the Bombers kicked their second goal. And they haven't really looked like kicking one. Bullen did it touch other fingers? No, it didn't. McVeigh having to wait a long time with Voss bearing down. Now McPhee. Lloyd has had to... Rather, uh, here. Gets it free. Yeah, Kaczynski over the shoulder, you'd suggest. Just reaching out for the point on the shot of the shoulder. Mr. Bomber's second goal came ten minutes into the opening quarter. It's been a full quarter. Alvi. Lloyd with plenty against him. Rewald getting back. And the Saints glad on. Lovely left footer, but straight. For the other team's golden hand boy. Now Hamill. And it's wide open for the Saints. I thought that was an Essendon mark. Harvey. Two targets. Milne short. Gary Long. Fletcher with him. And that's why they're booing. The Essendon supporters thinking that was a mark of theirs out on the wing. That's a clear mark. And it was. 11-8 to free kicks in favour of the Saints, so not much of a discrepancy there. 50 out from the Saints' goal. They lead by 16 points. Gerrick slaps it forward to Thompson. Lifted him up all the way. Now, what's that for? It was a British bulldog type of tackle. It was going to be like a spear tackle. He lifted him up. A spear tackle? Well, he said you lifted him up, and Rioli says... He was up. Well, I reckon that's fair enough, that tackle. Oh, I think the tackle was OK. Uh, 
Dean Rioli, of course, from Darwin, plays a lot of rugby. That's how they tackle up there. I thought that was OK. Thompson in his 150th. It's coming back. It's a goal. A costly mistake. I don't want to harp on it, but I reckon he's dead set stiff there, Dean Riolo. I didn't think there was much wrong with that, Tim. What did you think? Well, the question is, I'd like to apply to McLaren, show us what in the rule book makes that tackle other than legitimate. Yeah. Nothing that I know of. It was between the knees and the shoulders. Yeah, tough call. Tough call on Hurd, who took that mark out on the wing as well. Saints lead by 22 points. Controversial decision from Scott McLaren. Claiming that it had the potential to be a spear tackle. The problem is that those who make the laws still haven't outlawed the spear tackle. It was a tackle between the knees and the shoulders. And that is in accord with what is written in the laws of the game. Bull and the knock-on for Essendon. Del Santo getting back. Saints well on top at the moment. Ball, the biggest leather... Erner on the ground. Robert Harvey. Yours, yours. Hamill. Oh, and was man. pushed in the back or held. It's all going the Saints way. And the frustration showing. Long shot here. Hamill has kicked them from that range, and this would be a huge one for St Kilda if he could nail it. Well, it was Robert Harvey who set that bit of play up. Harvey started on the interchange bench in this match. He's come on and had eight disposals. Lenny Hayes, the captain, is off the field at the moment, so they've got the luxury of being able to rotate quality midfielders on and off the field. Won't quite make it. The Saints lead is 23. So Fletcher's target is heard and finds him successfully just outside defensive 50. Well, 31 minutes have gone by since Essendon kicked their second goal. Heard to Peveril, back to Fletcher. He'll switch to the outer side, out in front of McCurry. Against him is Goddard. <laughs> Allen smacks it forward. Ramanaskis gets there first. Couldn't get boot to ball. Lloyd, well up the field. Good handball to Masiti. Masiti goes long into the goal square hill. And Kaczynski. It's another rush behind. Handy player, Kaczynski, to have there on that last line of defence to play on the hills and the Allens, the big fellas that the opposition serve up. Matty Lloyd really struggling to get into this game. Just had the three disposals to this stage. No goals. And we uh, spoke before the game about Lloyd in past contests here at Telstra Dome, having a feast against the Saints. Saints controlling it and working it nicely. Blake to ball. And starting to set up their forward moves at will. Hamill. As behind him, some kill to make a double change. If this ball goes inside 50, it will be 25 entries to Essendon's 14. Rewalt. It was Ball and Goddard to the interchange bench. Thomas with the luxury of being able to rotate for the moment. Rioli chopping it off. Heard. Reynolds taken under it illegally by Ozzy Jones. And that, folks, is a Bronx. A bomber Bronx. Here's Lloyd. He's coming a long way from goal. Almost playing across half forward at the moment. Lucas, oh yes, good hands. It was a super pass and a super mark. And as you called it, Tim, Matty Lloyd having to come near the wing to get a possession of the footy. And Scotty Lucas uh, could certainly kick this. The Scots, Lucas and McLaren. 
with different ideas as to what line he should be on as he lines them up. Tough shot for a left footer. But he is a very good kick. That is a sensational kick. The Bombers broke the drought. It's been well over half an hour. Hard-earned goal. Just like to see Essendon at some stage have Heard, Lloyd and Lucas in the forward 50. They're their best forwards. Just put real pressure on the St Kilda defence. Big goal from Scott Lucas. Now the centre clearance is 9-0 in favour of the Saints. That is a toweling by anyone's standards. Powell. To Hayes. To Powell. He might get another one here, the Saints. Make it 10-zip. Just quick hands in close. Thompson to Baker. Driving kick. Hamill caught behind. Forced his way to the front with sheer strength. Super effort that. Against the odds, numbers against him, out of position, willed his way to the front, did Aaron Hamill. And he's just within range. Aaron Hamill kicked a goal this term. Smack bang in front. Is this the quick reply for St Kilda? Not quite. So 1-1 one, one tonight for Aaron Hamill. And 39 uh, plays, 22. 17 points in favour of Saints. You see Matty Lloyd in picture up towards centre-half forward. Lucas behind him and Henneman in the goal square. Saints have missed a lot of set shots. They could have just about stitched this up. Rioli. Murphy. Taking it away from Alvey and then handing it back to him. Here's Lucas again out on the other flank. Bolton. Tough shot. Back to 15. Unhappy bomber. Del Santo in the back pocket. Yeah. Clark was lurking very shiftily. <laughs> he got the ball. He just came off the interchange <laughs> bench. He didn't have an opponent. <laughs> to centre half forward. Hurd will get there first. Dispossessed well by Peckett. Back into the middle. Oh. Powell. Oh, coughed it straight up to Murphy. On the turnover, Masiti to Ramanaskis. To the rampaging Solomon. Puts the Sharon under the arm. Oh, not quite to Lucas, who got a shock, I think, when the ball came to him. And the Saints out of jail very, very luckily as Hayes finds Peckett. In the old language of the game, a golden opportunity lost and it could blow up in his face. Harvey for Rewalt. Gary Milne. Rewalt. Bombers escape. McPhee. McVeigh. Moment of utter peril for Essendon. They rode it out well. And a great kick by McVeigh. Tumbled it towards the boundary line. Contested possessions for the quarter. Essendon 17, St Kilda 26, and they are winning the ball in close, particularly at the stoppages like this. Hill the tap. Nice job. Watch out behind me. Powell has a rest. Ball comes back on. Ball's got 15 disposals. That's Blake on screen. Contest this one with Hill, Del Santo, and another stalemate. Matthew Allen having a break also. There's Nick Del Santo, number 26. He's really uh, got himself in shape. Had a bit of puppy fat on him when he came down from Bendigo a couple of years ago. Solomon. Hamble went straight to Hamill. Now slick hands again by St Kilda. Del Santo finds Thompson. Looks for Garrick getting in the hole and chopping it off as Rioli. Good kick too. Finds Mercedes at halfback. Been good, Rioli. 
And the Bombers just showing some good signs in the last seven or eight minutes. Bolton to Alvi. Lazy kick. Paid the price. Bolton working it on. Baker getting back for the Saints. And they have numbers. Jones. Voss now. Running for him as ball. Back into the fray. Possession number 16. Not so good. Just delayed it a little. Had nothing to go to. Rioli receiving. He's in double figures. Del Santo not quite able to outmark Solomon. And the boy from the Silver City. Able to work it forward for the Dons. Kaczynski. Lloyd coming at him hard. Rewalt doing good things at either end. Gehrig needs to be good here. Lloyd again working his way up the ground. And coming out of it with a free. No, he's given away a free. The don't argue, Tim. <laughs> the old don't argue. Crunchy, you take the kick. You want to take the kick? Oh, it was yes. a bit more than that, actually. Well, he did well, Nick Del Sano, to stand his ground. He was already feeling his jaw, now it's twice as bad. Opportunity free kick to Fletcher. Does that warrant some scrutiny, Rob? No, I, think so. I think so. Time in possession. You can see that's a, a pretty strong domination by St Kilda. Do. Their handball has been really sharp in close, and they've just won so many uh, centre clearances in particular, been very, very good there. Still However, still they haven't got it on the scoreboard. Essendon are still in the game. Fletcher provides some run. Goes to Big Torpy, and it is a monster too. Henneman wrestles. He's got the free. No, it's going to kill his way. <laughs> and that'll really please the Bomber fans, Rob. Oh, uh, yeah, I thought it was a Essendon free. Kaczynski, and on the uh, rebound, quickly the Saints. Get it to Voss and some Kilda are away. This could rub it in if they do damage at the other end. Brett Voss. Having a pretty good night. I don't know whether he can quite reproduce his brother's heroics of the afternoon. Rewalt and Bolton. Peveril riding shotgun. McPhee. Peveril to Hill. Masiti. Now Murphy. Rewalt bearing down. Golly, he's running some kilometres. Lloyd just not really <coughs> handling the space Hemfield, up the ground. Can you come back to Damien Peveril? Lloyd was hit after he disposed of it. After the handball. 15 to 11, the free kicks in favour of the Saints. It's been speculation as to whether Lloyd might make a centre half forward, but he, he looks a little fish out of water. Yeah, I think he's up the ground. strictly a full forward, Tim, and a very, very good one. Ramanowskis. Wheels around on the left. Bangs it long. Oh, a couple of Essendon fours just stood and watched. Gee, I like Kaczynski's game in defence. And he squeezes the kick out wide. That's, uh, Blake to the wing. McPhee and Hamill. They've been at it all night. And uh, Aaron Hamill just lets McPhee know that he's there. And here's the free kick. Kaczynski and Henneman. Well, it was just a 50-50 really, wasn't it? Could have been in the back to Henneman. Throw in slightly into St Kilda's attacking territory. Hill the tap. Rioli has been good. That's disposal number 13 to half forward. Ozzy Jones. Good use of the body by Baker off the ball. Thompson to Harvey. Looks for Rewalt. He's got the big run up. Oh, wonderful mark. Third man up. Super mark. That's the mark of the champ, and they made him earn it. Let's have a look at a few of the knees and boots in this. That's a classic mark. He plays on to Black from 50 metres out. He misses. And it's those skills that have made him the focus of much attention tonight. St Kilda have wasted many opportunities to really put some space in this. And Essendon have done OK to stay in touch and they might get closer. Ramanowskis would like to straighten on the left. Lloyd just can't get into the contest here. Penny though muffed it. 
Watson Kilda with the numbers. Voss to Maguire. And McCurry coming to grief. Hayes now for ball. And Hayes again as St Kilda build. This looks good. Peckett, who kicked one in the first quarter, can run in and do it again. Mightn't have the carry here. Got a little excited. <laughs> he did. He could, he could see goal number two coming up. And they have blown opportunities around goal St Kilda in this second quarter. 15 scoring shots to eight. Mark Alvey. Had 35 games for the Dogs. Had a Rico on the reconstruction in round four last year. Now finds himself with the Bombers. Well, they're still in the hunt, the Bombers. Only 17 the difference. Blake against Hill. Peveril has been very busy. Thanks, Damien. Click up, click, click, click. Watch out behind me. So in the last 20 seconds, Kaczynski's got himself in a up. dangerous position out at centre-half forward. Can they get it to him, the Saints? Doubt that there's time enough for the Dons to do any business, and it looks as though time will also beat St Kilda. Mark Johnson in picture hasn't been on the field since coming off in that first quarter, so I suggest he's got a pretty bad injury. The Saints take a 17-point lead to the long interval. The Bombers might be happy to be that close. Yep, 15 scoring shots to eight, so courtesy of that, the Bombers still alive, but the main break, as Tim said, it's in... Big night for all the young Essendon supporters here tonight. That young one there getting her sugar intake at half time because she'll have plenty to cheer about, hopefully for her sake, in the second half. Now, there was only one injury from the first half and that was Mark Johnson. Disappointing for him because he was only just coming back from a hamstring injury, but I'm told that he has re-injured that and won't take further part in the game, although he did warm up with the team. Essendon is saying it's all about persistence. A couple of things didn't go their way in the first half. They said they will go their way in the second half if they just stick to it. So we start this third term and it is the Saints in front of the Bombers by 17 points. Everall couldn't get a clear possession. Alvi could. Slick handball to Murphy. Well they got a clearance. That's a, that's a start for the Bombers. Lucas the tap went straight to Baker and his kick goes straight back to Murphy. So Bombers can they build something here? Penetrating kick looking for Hurd. Oh, just drop the chess mark. He can still weave some magic here. Decides to square it up, looking for Ramanaskis over his head. And a throw in in the Bombers' forward pocket. Well, the Bombers have started with Hurd and Lloyd deep forward. That is good. And the Saints with Gehrig at half forward and Hamill up in the sticks. Essendon haven't responded. Fletcher's on Hamill. And McPhee's picked up Gehrig. Harvey now. And he's done well with the left foot, sometimes criticised for his disposal. Under some pressure, it held him in good stead there. Now, Goddard... Well, he's waited and waited because he really had no one to go to. Finally, Rewalt comes down. Pushing and shoving and holding, and Bolton did beautifully. That's 50. Hold on, hold on now. You've got to let him go when he takes the mark. Bolts. Boy, he gets away with a bit, doesn't he? He doesn't 50, you don't need to hit him, all right? Should have been 50. But if he was holding him, as he warned him, he, he should penalise him. He continued to hang on. How much tolerance do you give? Bombers have been a little hard done by. The rubber, the green, certainly the way of their opponents. Now Masiti to Fletcher, running off full back. Lloyd running under the ball. The tension mounts. Don't like getting there. Hit. I tell you, I know oh she's okay now. Hill against Blake. Hill stood his ground, but Harvey snared it. Black was the quick kick. Solomon, no mark, play on. Bullen. And we see Bolton and Rewalt 
Essendon prepared to clear Jacobs to Hawthorne. And I would suggest that Bolton's been given every opportunity to become a key defender. Hill punches it forward. Baker manages to elude Ramanaskis. And he goes back to the wing. Hamill in front. Dealt with by McPhee. Peckett. To Hayes. Well played once again by Bolton, who led Rewalt under the ball. Peveril to Murphy. So the Bombers getting plenty of the footy here. Just trying to set something up. Haven't got a lot to kick to. Forced to go out wide. Rioli's there. So is Reynolds. Rioli's got it now. Can he weave some magic? Clever kick inboard to Masiti. He's got a couple of loose Bombers. One of them's the captain. That's well played, Essendon. Showed some patience. And Hurd decides, decides to lay it off and finds Lucas who plays on. Oh, has he cost a goal? No, he hasn't. He squeezed it. I think they've missed it. Oh, what a lost opportunity. Hurd should have had a shot. And then Lucas, after taking the mark, should have gone back, Rob. Yeah, I agree, Stephen. Um, James Hurd, I like the fact that he's been played deep forward. He's had a couple of disposals already. Fair enough to uh, give it off to Lucas, but Lucas, why in the world did he play on 30 metres out directly in front? Lack of confidence in his ability to nail the set shot. Kaczynski. Hamill's back up ground now. Del Santo wanting to get onto his left and with great acceleration was able to do it and deliver. Clark. And so often it happens... A team misses what should be a goal and the ball rebounds to the other end immediately. And if this fella kicks it, it's a two-goal turnaround. G. Del Santo has got a touch of pace, hasn't he? Really did back himself. Important moment this. Xavier Clark. No. Nope. And the bomber defence had it well under control. So it's back to the half-time margin of 17 points as Fletcher goes short to Murphy. Murphy up to a dozen disposals and he finds Peveril. Who's been very busy. This is number 17 for him. That's an equal game high with Luke Ball to the wing. Reynolds got pushed. Umpire let it go. Lucas. Bit of a pinball there off Harvey. Now McPhee to Solomon, to Bullen. Target once again is Heard. Nudge Voss under the ball. Oh, stole it beautifully into the pocket. Ramanaskis. Bombers calling for it everywhere. Gee, again from Heard. That was brilliant. Well, the ball's come to him three times in this third quarter, and three times he's been able to get, uh, get possession. I thought he'd lost it there, but he just won it back somehow. Great stuff. Will he Should do be it? used to it by now. Will he kick a check side, a boomerang, a banana, whatever you want to call it? Let's see what he does. Uh, probably run around. No. From a standing start, he's hit the post. Adam Ramanaskis. That's the fourth poster in the game, and it's all even up. Two to the Bombers and two to the Saints. 16 points of difference in favour of St Kilda. Low scoring, but lots of opportunities missed by both sides. Gee, at the other end of the ground. McPhee and Hamill slapping each other around within 10 metres of an umpire. Voss now. Very good first half. But the options aren't altogether clear now for the Saints. That's a good one. Blake has found a hole in the middle. Hill bearing down. Too long for Rewalt. Gehrig, well wrapped up. Well played by the bomber defence. Now Rioli with some space. This looks promising. Murphy. Murphy again. But outnumbered. Overwhelmed. Hayes. Saints on the march. Clark. Oh, St Kilda with loose men everywhere. Now does Peckett get it off over the top? No, he doesn't. And you've got to go back to the Justin Murphy in the centre square. Had a couple of chances. The smother was put on by the Saints, and then the ball rebounded. Blake 
puts the smother on and that is just so important and that's what the coaches love Justin Pickett who kicked the goal in the first quarter to have 30 odd in his 200 plus game career this could be a big night and getting bigger Well, they've come out the Bombers in this third quarter. They've had more of the ball than the Saints, but they haven't been able to put it on the board. And there we see, again, a fantastic smother. A great tackle by Heath Black. And St Kilda able to get the rebound. And Peckett, one of the most experienced players in the St Kilda lineup, able to sneak forward. So the Bombers now trail by 22. Peckett gets his second for the game and just the 40th in his 206 game career as the Saints go back into attack once again. McVeigh got first fist to the football, now seeks the solace at the boundary line. Matty Lloyd deep at full forward. We haven't once seen him on the lead, receiving a mark on the lead. The trademark Lloyd leading down the middle of the ground. And you've got to give a lot of credit to the St Kilda players across the forward line and the midfield because they've pressured their Essendon opponents. So it's been tough for Lloyd. Clark to Hamill to Gehrig on his left foot. Another miss. Fraser Gehrig has three behinds for the evening. Very sharp and close with their handball, St Kilda. We've seen it on many occasions. Rap, rapid fire, two, three handballs to set a teammate up. McPhee. And now Peveril. Again, the Saints perhaps and just snatching at their opportunities a little. Whether it's the heat of the contest or the urgency of their desire to kill this off. They have wasted some. Alvi for Solomon. Just couldn't hold it. And his skills not quite polished up yet. Bombers led two goals to one. Since then, the Saints have kicked five to one. And had very much the better of it. You can see uh, Blake in picture, the undersized St Kilda Ruckman. He just gives a contest. He's been giving a contest right through the Wizard Cup, the first couple of rounds. Been fantastic for them. Peveril not able to get clear for the kick. Black's hand pass, not quite hitting the target. Baker feeling the heat. Kozitski now, bounce just didn't come onto him. But he did well against Ramadowskis. Bomber fans think he should have been pinged. Thompson for Black. And the Saints can try and break it open again. Clark. Been a handy player for St Kilda. Rewalt drop back to full forward. Fletcher, his opponent. And Bolton going with Gehrig. Clark bangs it long. Rewalt from the side. Thompson. Now Hayes. Oh, fired out an excellent handball to Del Santo. Thread of the eye, the needle there. Now Thompson into the pocket. But that'll be a free kick to Essendon. And we see McVeigh limping off. So they might have lost another one here, the Bombers. McVeigh had uh, ankle surgery in the pre-season, so let's hope it's not a recurrence of that problem. Centre wing, Peveril. To half forward, Ozzy Jones. And he kept out of the action pretty much tonight. He's taken a mark there. He'll also offer Essendon. Allen back on. Here's Baker. Pumps it long. McPhee one out with Hamill. Heard. Too hard. Hamill and McPhee off the ball, go at it again. Well, James Hurd's put himself into the thick of the action again. That's the first free kick in this second half. We've played 12 minutes of football, so, if you like, the physicality has waned. Bolton smothered this time. Ball's got it. Now Voss. And saw a target that not many others would have done. Peckett with Rewalt alone and unattended in the goal square.
again I for the second time tonight. Got a little excited. Oh, Frankie Peckett anywhere near goals and the blinkers are on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Christy. Mark McVeigh has just limped down into the Essendon rooms and he looked extremely disappointed. Here's another Bombers player just coming back from injury tonight. They're doing their best to throw it away here, Essendon. That's a free kick to Pevrolo. It was about four Saints around him as Hamill lets him know about it, but uh, Pevrolo put his body on the line and was rewarded. Lucky let off there for Essendon. Masiti. What the Bombers are doing is just little chip kicks. There's no real uh, length in their kicking. Yours, and yours. again, another little chip kick. And Murphy, can he use it this time? Another little oh, chip kick. Gee, another smother. Trying to be a bit too fancy. Yeah. Well, we've seen three smothers in the last five minutes, and uh, that really does lift the team that's doing the smothering and sinks the team that's getting their uh, good work nullified. Ball under his back, Matty Allen. Fell right under his back. Bit stiff there, Blake, because I think Henneman pushed Blake into Allen. Anyway, it's an Essendon free. Lucas on a second bite. Now he is well within range, Scott Lucas. Should go back and have a shot. Yeah, it looked like it came off his head. But good body work. Just the strength to get Maguire out of the action. He did right, Robert. Hits him in the mush. <laughs> And he gobbles it up for the second grab. With water streaming from the eyes. <laughs> well, he kicked a fantastic goal in the second quarter from a position a lot worse than this. You have a cry in the football field, Tim. <laughs> Those cold Tasmanian mornings. Oh, it's another great kick from Scott Lucas. Bombers back in the hunt. There's Mark McVeigh looking on. As I said, he had uh, ankle surgery in the off-season. Let's hope it's not a recurrence of that. Now, the Rioli kick is a long kick into the forward line. And the stats tell us Essendon in this quarter... Now, this is another long kick. They have only had six long kicks and 20 short kicks. Well, their dominance over the Saints is being seriously challenged, but Essendon haven't gone away yet. The margin, 18. Allen to Masiti. Can they string a couple together? Maguire with tremendous courage. Enormous, Inspirational. Enormous football. Now Clark. Oh, yes. Good mark. Bombers have moved Lucas to full forward. Get behind your mark now. Come on. And Lloyd out to centre-half forward. So I'd most... rather have the two of them at full forward because Lloyd really does struggle once he uh, gets outside that 50 arc. It was almost a ticking off for St James. Gehrig second in line. Masiti. Another play smothered play kick. Peckett. Well tackled. Ramanowskis hurt now with the flight. Oh, well done. Very well done. Lucas again. Lloyd pushing forward. Don't go for it. Go back and have a shot. Have a shot. You've got your eye in. While he lines up, let's go to Christie. Well, Mark McVeigh is just icing his hamstring, and I tell you, he is so disappointed. He looked close to tears before. As I said before, he was only just coming back from injury tonight, and he's devastated by this. Well, that's a couple of bombers who've got hamstring uh, injuries out of tonight's game. McVeigh and Mark Johnson. To cut it to 12 points. Not quite. Sad sight. Two goals, three to Scott Lucas. It's the Saints by 17, which was the margin at half time. Play on. One senses Play on. the Bombers aren't done with yet. Come Pinch on. and goal before the last change. They're right in it. It's Mark. What's behind me? Just watching McPhee and uh, Hamill off the ball. <sighs> McPhee is just tormenting him left, right and centre. Play on! Mine! He's never had a chance. Watching off the ball, Fries.
Blake and Allen. Run by Blake. Here's Harvey. Come on. To the half forward flank. Clark. Cleverly done to Baker. Great tackle, Peveril. Had a chance. Let it go now. Let it go now. Footy. Here we go. Good umpiring to get it going straight away. Fans reckon they're just starting to get some just reward. Heard. Yep. Now McPhee. This makes Caught. it really hard for the Bombers team if they've got two men short for the rest of the game. Got nothing to kick to. Good pressure from the Saints. And a good man to be having alongside you. Dustin Fletcher. Ramanowskis now. Allen. Now Mercury, some of the old heads from Windy Hill, making space for him was Murphy, went beyond him, but oh, shocking disposal. Vosta Del Santo and St Kilda let off the hook far too easily. Well, Mercury's kick was smothered, and how many times have we seen the Saints smother Essendon kicks in this third term? He had Murphy all free inside 50, he just took too long. Floating kick by Harvey. Peveril has had a very good night for the Bombers. He's had 21, but on this occasion, it's Ozzy Jones. Into the middle to Harvey. Little handball was clever to Baker, to Rewald. Fletcher hot on his hammer. Here's a good little one-on-one. -on -one. Fletcher looking for the boundary line, coming in as Powell. To Rewald. Over the top. Couple of Saints, one of them's Thompson. Looking to square it up, no one there, so he has a shot himself and just misses. He was caught between a rock and a hard place, Andrew Thompson, because he saw Gehrig in the goal square, but there were two Essendon players alongside him. Does he try to set it up to a teammate who's outnumbered, or does he have a shot for goal? I think he took the right option. Allen the target here, Noble the spoiler. Milne courageously to peck it again. This time he gives it off. Harvey fell over. Powell on his preferred side. Another smother. This has been a desperate quarter of football. Strong man, Fraser Gehrig. Nothing wrong with what he did there. Just strength. <laughs> An Essendon free kick. If you touch the opponent's face, the umpires will put a free kick against you. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Heard Mark still deep inside his own defensive 50, and he finds McPhee. He's had the better of Hamill, you'd have to say, Robert. Don't take yes, five. he's had a pretty good game. Looking for Murphy. Good kick. Can yeah, she get it moving quickly? He does. His target is Lucas, who wrestles with Penny. They wrestle each other out of the contest. Penny keeps his feet to Voss. Well played. Over the, to Kaczynski. Advantage paid. So Justin Kaczynski. Allen. Ball spills free. Masiti. Good tackle, Milne. Good hard footy. Two steps. He only took two steps. Tremendous struggle. One goal apiece in this third corner. Powell. Hamill. McFeeda Ramanowskis. Solomon now. Rioli calling and Murphy in midfield. This is Murphy's sixth mark in the quarter. And here comes Lucas again. Penny did okay. Will it sit up for Lucas? Pushed in the back. He's on his preferred side. Yep, no doubt about it. Good decision by Martin Ellis. Justin Murphy has run hot in this third term. 11 disposals, 6 marks, and he has been by himself. Lucas is becoming a very important figure in this contest. Close to three-quarter time. 
A chance to bring it back to 12. Great kick. This game is very much alive. The Bombers are grafting their way back. Two goals, the difference at Telstra Dome. Saints 50, Essendon 38. Lucas has got three. Heard in the middle, caught a bit high. Peverell's had a great night. So has this man Murphy to Masiti. Bombers go back into attack. Lucas again! Well, that move has worked for them, putting Lucas to full forward and moving Lloyd further out. But Justin Murphy is the player who has had 13 disposals in this quarter. Ozzie Jones has been responsible for him for much of this term and has just been far too loose. Lucas can make it a goal the difference. Not with that kick. Into the goal square, is it a mark? It's a rush behind, while at the other end, the Hamill McPhee show continues. Still going. He is ready to erupt there in Hamill. Inside the last three minutes of the turn, lovely kick in. Full distance and it met Voss at full tilt. Now Hamill and the Saints could reply quickly here. But Fletcher has other ideas. The Bombers, now dangerous, can side through the middle. Masiti, a spear, Murphy chalking up the stats. And here comes Lucas again, just running under that. Winderlick the chance here. Another great telling smeller by Penny this time. Still alive. Was that in the back? Yes, it was. Powell's free kick. Kick to ball. Too much on it. Peveril won't give up. But St Kilda went out with sheer weight of numbers. This is Black. Along the boundary line, dealt with stupidly by Masiti. Black didn't like the treatment either, it's on, off the ball. But that was silly by Masiti, no need to do that, he's just given away an easy free kick. Especially when the Bombers had the ascendancy, long kick to an unguarded Garrick. Garrick's got it while it's still on, on the wing, right in front of the interchange boxes. Well, that has cost Essendon a goal. And they had the momentum going all their way. They were blueing right in front of the emergency umpire box. What a smart move. He almost got caught up in it. Gee, that was a good kick by Hamill. Just had the depth in it to find Gehrig, who was back in the square by himself. Gehrig's kicked three behinds for the night. This is a put. Well, there's just no need for that from Messini, Robert. It's just given away. No, experienced player. Cheap goal. Experienced player, and look, he'd be disappointed now, and I'm sure Kevin Sheedy would be. But Gary, Hamill, and Rewalt certainly have been struggling to get into this game. Rewalt, Rewalt in this quarter has touched the ball just the once. Saints steady, and in the context of this match, 17 points, still a significant margin. Thompson, the ball was excellent, and Gehrig's even better. The quick hands, Tim, in at that centre bounce. I think it was Thompson who fired it out to ball, but they are super slick in close and set each other up time and again. And Re Rewalt's only, here we'll see it here, yeah, down low, down low, just fires it out, ball, the dying kick into the arms of Gehrig. Rewalt spent most of this quarter in the goal square, I suggest he's feeling it, feeling the pinch. Ordinary kick from Gehrig and a reprieve for the Dons, it would have been a heartbreaker. For Essendon and for Dustin Fletcher if they kick two in the last couple of minutes after such a tense, tight quarter.
One four to Fraser Gehrig. Fletcher. And his kick finds Ramanaskis. And this is disposal number 16 for him. Seven marks. Good kick to McPhee. He found space on centre wing. Chance here for the Bombers. Yeah, Peckett being moved on to Murphy. Long kick. Big pack flies. Windelick. Murphy into the pocket. Lucas caught on the wrong side. So has to handball back. Now Alvi. Masiti can't take the one-hander. Handballs to Peveril. Pops it up. Lurking dangerously as Heard. Saints defenders do well. What a quarter. It's still not over. 7 15 57 plays 5 9 39 18 points to margin robert walls it was just a hectic quarter of football i thought essendon controlled more of the play they just couldn't get it on the board they kicked two goals four and the saints they were able to kick two goals five so goals are very hard to come by essendon still in the hunt still working hard they set their forward line up with a bit of quality and that helped the bomb close to three-quarter time a chance to bring it back to 12. great kick St Kilda have extended their lead at each break. The final quarter they start, 18 points up, 7-15-57, plays 5-9-39. Amazingly, just two goal scorers for Essendon. Three Lucas, two Heard. while the Saints have shared their goals. Peveril, 23, Heard 22 touches for the Bombers, while Hayes has 20 and ball 19 for St Kilda. As we take a look at the fresh legs, Rob. Well, the fresh legs there, and uh, you can see Hill and Allen have been sharing the ruck work. Masiti's had a fair bit of ball once he's come on and Bullen's been doing closed down jobs uh, mainly on Luke Ball and fresh legs for the Saints will Blake and Noble share the ruck work so one's on one is off Peckett spent most of the first half on the bench so he'll be fresh Stevie Milne should be fresh too and Powell hasn't had a lot of game time but when you look at the St Kilda team, look, goals are hard to come by tonight. And Gehrig, Rewalt, Hamill and Milne, their main goal kickers who kicked 14 against Essendon in the Wizard Cup final, have only kicked three to this stage. Christy M. It was a sorry sight for Mark McVeigh during that break. He stayed on the bench icing his hamstring while the rest of his teammates grouped together in that break listening to the coach. Now, isn't there going to be two men down in this last term with McVeigh off injured, Mark Johnson off injured and also Joel Reynolds came off and had a lot. Of, spent a lot of time getting his legs massaged. He was cramping in the hamstrings and the calves. Just quickly, you spoke about fresh legs. I don't think either team is going to have fresh legs in this last quarter. Every player that's come off has put his hands on his knees and sucked in the breath. They are all exhausted. Hasn't yeah. been Matthew Lloyd's night. No, and he's out at uh, centre-half forward. Bombers have put Henneman into the ruck. Interesting. St Kilda have beaten Essendon five times in the Sheedy era. They're on the brink. The skipper Hayes, their biggest possession earner. Del Santo now. Lovely stabbing delivery. And Ball is on the heels of Lenny Hayes in terms of use of the ball. Now Blake. Well, the mobile ruckman covers a lot of ground and this is his strength. If the Saints can kick the first of the quarter, they will be very hard to catch. Thompson. The long option, and it is long. Gary, two against him, and one of them was enough. His name is James Hurd. The last time St Kilda defeated Essendon was in round eight, 1999, when Tim Watson was coach. One of the Bombers' favourite sons. And yeah. in their four encounters since, Essendon's average winning margin has been 74 points. All at the Dome. Well, back then known as Colonial Stadium. Saints have possession. Peckett. To Hayes. Looks for Hamill. Well played, Fletcher. Thompson in his 150th. He's heard. McCurry. 
Arioli's free in the midfield. He just turns around and pumps it long. Lloyd gets back there. So does Lucas. Can Lucas go? No. Scott Lucas has kicked three goals, four. Oh, that would have been a handy one. But it is 17 the difference. It's a game of millimetres. That was not quite millimetre perfect. Maguire. Harvey running for him. Gee, just broke away from Masudi too oh, easy. Those old legs just keep on pumping. Hamill now. Well, that was a lazy hand pass, just turned the ball over. Ball and drilling it into Lloyd's breadbasket, and the ball would feel good because he hasn't had it a lot. Lucas goes. Lloyd goes for him. Well done. This is a reversal of the pattern of the years. It's normally been Scott Lucas looking and, for Matthew Lloyd's leads. And Aaron Hamill screaming at the umpire, saying, I didn't handball, I didn't play on. Umpire called it as such. Be interesting to see that one. It looked from here as though he did. But this is what counts. He's done it, and the margin is 11 points. Scott Lucas has four, and the Bombers are grafting and crafting their way back. Laren Hamill still arguing with the umpire Scott McLaren, saying, I didn't handball that, you called play on, it was knocked out of my grip. And he's like a dog with a bone, Hamill, he will not give up. Don't think he'll win. Let's have a look at this. Did Hamill play on? No, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. So back in the middle. It is an 11-point ball game. Robert Harvey breaks free. Looks for Rewalt against Bolton. That's dangerous by McPhee. Camped over the football. Oh, he's lucky he there. He didn't die on it, held to him. Thank you. Right so it's inside the Saints attacking 50. Play on. Allen the tap to Hurd. Kept it alive to Fletcher. Yeah. Who just blazes away and it's come off in the end. Marked by Reynolds, he'll claim that as a nice pass. And that's a good one too for Hill. Nothing more Kaczynski could have done. The Bombers in this now. Up to their ears. The margin just 11. It's the closest they've been for a long time. Lloyd just can't find a rhythm out at centre-half forward. Now he might be able to make a mark. Terrific smother. And the Saints take it away through Jones. And Goddard at half-back has it. It was Penny who affected that smother. And it was worth its weight in gold. The acid really being put on this young St Kilda team. And just when I say that, the oldest man in the Saints lineup takes the mark as we see Luke Penny limping off. And Black comes on for St Kilda. Harvey to Hayes. I swear they break down a bit, the Saints. So they've just got to be prepared to get it in quick. Good hard running by Goddard. Herds on his hammer. And the old pro takes him over the line beautifully. Oh, oh, gee! And Thompson attacked him and Hurd had every right to defend himself. Every right to defend himself. Now, that's that's unfair. It is. Because James Hurd was just standing there and Thompson came at him and Hurd had every right to defend himself. And the ball had been out of play for a long time. Be interesting to see the point of contact on replay. 44,876 here. We're all getting fired up. Hurd kicks smothered. Clark on the full. Gee, there's been some smothered kicks. Let's have a look at this. Tackle, nothing wrong with that. Ball out of play. Well, it was high, I guess. It, it was high, but... The uh, man's got to be able to defend himself. Yeah, well, that's right. But you can't just stay there and get hit. Technically, you're not allowed to raise an arm into somebody else's face. Some killed up for a kick. 
Blake to take him. Fiddling around a bit, the Saints. Now Peckett. We have a shot, Rob. <laughs> if he gets any closer, he will. He's got the sniff. Here's Hurd again. Hand pass well smothered. Fletcher. Ball dangerous. Oh, her word, this is a tense struggle. Fletcher for Peveril and Black. Who will win this? Black. Canny little left foot into the boundary. Margin still 11, and the tension just mounts. Black has a football for St Kilda. To Hayes, who's forced to double back, still maintains control. <laughs> Silly play, Dean Rioli. Silly play, Dean Rioli. And they've just got to control it, the Bombers. They are well and truly in this game. And they cannot afford to give goals up with late hits. So a relayed free kick is going to Fraser Gehrig in the forward pocket. And on now, his form tonight, you wouldn't back him. He milked that too. Uh, what do you reckon with that one, Robert? Well, uh, again, I, I think the uh, Saints are lucky to have the ball in their hands. Gehrig in the forward pocket. It's a lackadaisical kick for goal. <laughs> He's put it through. He didn't show much excitement. <laughs> Fraser's got his second. Well, there's been a bag full of controversial decisions tonight. Let's have a look at it. Well, it was late. Yeah. And, and knowing the state of the game, he shouldn't have done it. Just should have been disciplined not to do that. Gehrig via the relayed free kick. Rioli did keep on coming and paid a heavy price. Back out to 17 points. The Saints hold firm. Thompson. McCurry. Ball into Peveril. And the Bombers win one away. Well done, Kaczynski. Read it better than Hill. Played a very a good, very good game, Tim. Been That's very good. impressed with him. And what a bonus he is coming back after so much injury. Del Santo, that waddling run. And the probing left foot delivery for Rewalt. Yes! Sensational, Mark. And this kid's hurting. He's been out of the action for a lot of this game. But takes the hit there from Allen. And you mentioned, Stephen, throughout the call, this is the area where he has struggled as an AFL player. And that is the set shot for goal from 40 metres and beyond. Just in this last quarter, Lenny Hayes and James Hurd, the two captains, really led the way, both of them getting plenty of the ball. He's hooked it a little. Did it do enough? It did. And the Dons need four goals now to pull this back. It's hard to see where they might come from. Well, the Bombers have only had the two goal kickers. Lucas with four, and Hurd, who kicked two in the first quarter. Courageous mark, wasn't it? Absolute ripper. Bombers need four goals to win. Hurd's got 28 disposals for Essendon. Hayes, 25 for St Kilda. Here come the Saints again. Harvey to centre-half forward. Hamill. Did well. Tackled by his nemesis tonight in McPhee. Harvey threaded the handball out. To Blake. To Hayes. Hamill. 
pace has really lifted in this last quarter. That was his seventh disposal. Down to Christy Malthouse. Mark McCurry is really struggling. This is his first full game back from a hamstring injury, and he's certainly looking a little proper. In fact, he can hardly run anymore. Also on the bench, Luke Penny is icing his inner thigh, and he looks like he won't take any further part in the game. There's still a fair way to go in this game, but if Hamill can thread this through, you'd think it would just about be beyond the Bombers. I thought there was a look almost of resignation in the Essendon coach's box after that last goal. This to make it 29 points the difference. And perhaps the floodgates have opened. The Saints are on their way to just their sixth win over Essendon in the 24 seasons of the Sheedy era. Inside 50s, 8-2 in this final quarter in favour of the Saints. And James Hurd up there at full forward. And Goddard, the youngster, his 18-year-old opponent. 29 points the margin. The Saints have broken it open at last. Blake. Just a real competitor, Jason Blake. You know, he, he gives you a contest in the air, and then at ground level, he's ruck rover size and uh, very much an athlete, so he wins plenty of ball at ground level. There he is again for Maguire. And now Clark. Just four players in the 50, and Rewald has it again. Well, Mark Bolton absolutely lost there. Well, the last shot wasn't the sweetest contact, wasn't the greatest kick, but it limped its way home. Just don't know what Bolton was doing, just got caught underneath the ball far too easily. More authority about that, a lesser result. The margin 30 points. 2-3 to Nick Rewald. 10-16 to the Saints. Plays 6-10. Rewald again. Advantage paid. Peckett. To ball. That's his 21st touch. Gee, Hamill's free here. Black goes long. One of a throw in in the forward pocket. Yeah, for Essendon, Hurd's got 28, Peveril 25, Murphy 21 disposals, while for the Saints, 26 to Hayes, 22 to Harvey, 21 to Ball. Chance for the Saints here to extend their lead. Off the fees, kick finds Peveril on defensive 50. Ramanauskas. McCurry just managing a gallop there. Getting himself into bother. He's not playing with any authority. Ramanowskis now bullying. Shit are going by the cake. Very much so. Lucas, one of their best players tonight. Now Rioli. Not much on offer. Lloyd at last on the end of one. That's the first time, I think, Tim, that we've seen him on the lead, taking the trademark mark out in front of himself. Beautiful kick by Rioli. He nails this, Tim, only the third goal kicker for the Bombers tonight. Well, you have to give the Saints credit. They have controlled Matthew Lloyd and made him less than a factor in tonight's match.
His kicking rarely lets him down, but it's too little too late. Adam Ramanaskis sits down, you'd think, for the rest of the night. He looks exhausted. 19 disposals, 8 marks. That's and killed a free kick. No, 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 no. Oh. They got him clear off the Let's hope Blake's no, no. okay. Yep. Yeah. It's amazing how you recover quickly when you get the foot, isn't it? Inside 50 goes and killed her yet again, and the mark's taken by Clark. He's entitled to have a shot. Matthew Allen has dropped back. He's going to do exactly that. He has a shot. It's coming back. It's a beautiful goal. Xavier Clark gets his second. The Saints lead once again by five straight kicks. And another centre clearance, albeit due to a free kick. And they just answer that Lloyd goal so quickly. Saints have had just six goal kickers. The Dons, three. Sixteen to four centre clearances in favour of the Saints. That is an absolute domination. And Blake climbing high and climbing over Allen despite that knock on the shoulder. Del Santo been good again. Harvey. Hayes. And it's two on one here. Blake. So he sneaks forward after the ruck contest. Oh, he's in bother here. Well. Hamill now drilling it for Gehrig. Who can arrive there? Only Allen. Now Fletcher. Oh, shit. Heard. Masiti. Rioli, disposal number 20, goes up the middle and finds Bullen. Leads provided by Lloyd. Well done again by Maguire, but Solomon front and centre. Into the pocket and finds Hill. Had a pretty quiet night, David Hill. I'm surprised they don't ruck him more. I know they've brought Allen to this, into the team, but uh, I thought he was developing very well last year as a ruckman. He's young. He's got it all in front of him. How have you seen Allen's game tonight, Robert? Oh, just. I, I think he's, he's uh, just, just a game from him tonight. Allen is able to read the play pretty well and get out into space, a bit like John Barnes of a few years ago for the Bombers, but can't get off the ground that much in the ruck contest. That's yeah, a funny old kick, but that'll do. Goal to Essendon. Well, Peter Hudson said of his flat punts that if you miscued them, they usually went straight. <laughs> That was an awful miscue from Hill, but it did the job. He also said the other day that he wouldn't recommend the flat punt to anyone. It worked okay for him, though. Well, the flat punt was hard work for the goal umpire because he had to run from one side of the goals to the other. The Dons are going to be without any Premiership points after two rounds, but more honour about tonight than there was about last Sunday's effort at Amy Stadium. And they're still coming. Murphy for Hill. That's Murphy's first disposal in this final quarter after running absolutely hot in the third term. Goes for the long option, hoping Lucas or Lloyd might be able to pluck it out of the air, but Goddard is on the job. Jones now. He's got nothing to go to. 
gives it the lot for Hamill to arrive and not quite. McPhee. Allen. Peveril. Can someone snare at this time? Lloyd. Saints kept their feet. Good tackle by Matthew Lloyd. Rush behind. They're enjoying it, and well they might, because victories for St Kilda over Essen that have been rare events in the last quarter of a century. Gee, that's a lovely kick in. Maguire finds Clark. He wastes no time and finds Peckett. Will he have a shot, Rob? He's you bet he will. 52 out. He'll look for every lead and find out, no, they're no good. I, I can't hit that bloke. Well, the old trick is to uh, go to pass and slip over. <laughs> there he is. He's wound up. He's put it to the point of the goal square. And Fraser Gehrig marks. Beautiful teamwork from Justin Peckett. It was an excellent kick, actually, and Fraser Gehrig yeah. I don't think Fraser, will go back and kick a goal. I don't think he got off the ground there, but he just uses his reach and his strength. And the further the game goes, the harder it is for the opposition. A couple of young bomber defenders there, McPhee and Bolton, learning what it's all about. Three to Garrett. Three goals, four to Fraser Gehrig, in fact. I would think this would be one of St Kilda's most satisfying wins in the last couple of years, Tim, because they were well and truly tested in that first ten minutes. They've stood up to it and shown maturity. In the end, it's going to be a comfortable victory and one to really consolidate this growing force, the Saints. Peveril to Murphy. Reynolds to nobody much. Lloyd not able to get into the contest. Goddard missing Voss. Tired hand pass. Lots of happy Saints here. Saints next week have the Tigers on Easter Monday while the Bombers are back here next Saturday night to take on the West Coast Eagles. Stephen Milne on the interchange bench there has only played nine minutes in the second half. 20 goals have been scored this evening, 18 of them from set shots. And that is amazing, like very few uh, crumbed goals, goals on the run. Peckett's played some valuable minutes tonight. He finds Kaczynski. And Xavier Clark gets uh, mark number nine, disposal number 14. Peckett again. Back to Maguire. And the mark's taken by Bullen. So playing out time here, the Saints. 2-0, and zero, the Bombers 0-2. and two. It's going to be a big one next Saturday night against the Eagles. Not quite season on the line stuff, but gee, 0-3 and three makes it tough. As Espen go forward, Hill runs to the 50, goes for home. It's another ordinary sort of kick, and this time it misses a point. And he had three of them calling for it in the corridor. Gee, I've been impressed with Brett Voss's game. He's grown as a player, hasn't he? He has, Tim. He was a spare parts man, probably about the 25th player at Brisbane. But uh, he's a very good starting 18 player now with the Saints. Kuzitsky to Hamill with a lovely flat kick. Travelled quickly. Now Hayes. And Rewald has the sit here, but it just drops short. Heard full of courage as ever. Lucas down at the back end. Well, the Saints are going to be contained to under 100 points by the look of it, but their attacking half is going to pose problems for every team this year. Hill hoping Peveril can come down the ground, but boy, he was setting him a tall task. 
And Lloyd with the numbers stacked against him. And Maguire comes away. That's a lovely left foot kick. Hamill takes his eighth mark for the game. And 17 disposals. So that's not a bad night's work for a half forward, Rob. No, he's worked hard, especially when he was uh, absolutely pummeled in the first 15 minutes of the game. Hayes finds Noble with pinpoint accuracy. Little give to Powell. And the mark is taken by Voss. Yeah, Could this be his eighth goal for the day? That was uh, Bullen just lost with the flight of the football there. It'll be a nice way to finish off his game. Well, Voss has kicked seven. Yes, his brother, <laughs> his brother, his brother kicked seven over there in Adelaide today. Nathan Brown did well at the MCG <laughs> last night too. So can his brother cap off a big day for the Voss family with a goal. In he comes, it's not a bad effort, it is a goal! Well, that caps off a big night for Brett Voss, Rob. You just gave him a few raps uh, a moment ago. Yes, he's had a wonderful game. He's just got a nice composure about him. Strong body. And he's the sort of size that, at a pinch, can play key defence. Ideally suited as a back pocket, back flank. But I think he's really enjoying his football, enjoying living in Melbourne. And probably has been overlooked in assessments of what was regarded as a suspect St Kilda defence, but he is one who really oh, stiffens it up. Allen, the blind hand pass, and there's Voss back in his normal spot. McPhee and Hamill, <laughs> it's been war oh, all night. Hamill will have the last laugh. The Saints are home and hosed. Winderlich. Clark's got him. Low. Bullen. A gig almost up here. And this is a victory that the Saints are going to take a lot from. A great learning experience for them. Reynolds for Lucas who's been Gallant. That was not so good. Gallant not necessarily accurate. Clark now as the Saints can build again. He's had a big last quarter, Xavier Clark, and that one's bounced right on the line. Will be thrown in. Peveril up to 30 touches for the Bombers. Hayes has got 29 for St Kilda. 34 points in favour of the Saints. An emphatic victory tonight. Hurd has been wonderful. Windelick back to Hurd, to Murphy. Runs back into traffic, gives it out to Bullen. And the Saints come of age tonight. 34 point victory. After Essendon threw everything at them, including the kitchen sink. Brent Thomas looks almost as happy as he did after the Wizard Cup final. Well, I think they think they've got uh, bigger fish to fry. That's what they're thinking. They are a fast-developing team. They've been patient over the last couple of years to give their early draft picks experience all over the ground. There's a confidence within this team. And I think, as you said, Stephen, they have come of age in the footy world tonight by... Matching the might of the Bombers, particularly in the first 15 minutes of the game, and then going on to win as they did. And have a look at that. James Hurd going up to Andrew Thompson. Both of them crashed into each other early in that final turn. Down to Christie with Aaron Havel. Aaron, you just punched the air then. How much did you enjoy winning that game? Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it is a huge, huge relief. Uh, obviously, they came out... Uh, Quality side of Essendon, you know, the, uh, if, you're not on your, if you're not on your game, then you, you really do get exposed, and to the boys' credit, we uh, just hang in there and hang in there and persevered and, uh, you know, just got over the line, so we're more than happy. You would have expected Essendon to come out hard in the first few minutes, but did you expect it to be that fiery? Oh, look, it's always. This game's not easy, so, uh, you know, it's um, true credit to the boys. They just uh, stuck at it and stuck at it and uh, trying to win the contested footy, so, uh, 
Uh, all in all, it's a happy four points. Now, I dare say you're all going to sleep well tonight. How exhausting was that game? Oh, yeah, I'm uh, pretty jaded to tell you the truth, but uh, always good when you win. Well done. Thanks, Wilson. Thanks. Aaron Hamill finished the night with 17 disposals, eight marks. And he kicked two goals, one. I guess all that remains at the moment, they're in such hot form. I mean, Brisbane's the only one, though, for... Can't wait for that game, whenever that may be. Yes, they're taking all before them, aren't they? And wherever you look there, you know, Goddard played on herd at stages. Kaczynski was uh, dominant in the back line. Blake's doing his bit in the ruck there, number 27. Rewalt's been knocked around a fair bit in the last month, but stood up well. Very good team effort again tonight by the Saints. Saints home by 34 points. Thousand people ventured to the Telstra Dome tonight and boy they got their money's worth. The Saints won in the end by 34 points. They won every quarter, which is always a sign of a good side. 13, 16, 94, St Kilda defeated Essendon 8, 12, 60. So if we look at the goal scorers for St Kilda, three to Gehrig. And the other multiples were two to Peckett, Hamill, Clark and Rewald. Well the only multiple goal scorers for the Bombers were Lucas with four and Heard with a couple. <laughs> Well, you can usually tell by the song how much yeah. it meant to them, and that was sung with quite a bit of verb tonight. Yeah, a lot of gusto in that, a lot of happy faces. Huge challenge for them, and they met it, and uh, they went on. They ended up winning quite uh, comfortably, and yet I still think they could have won by a lot more. Yeah, you said they'd be, in the, in the break, they'd be a little bit disappointed. I You're think, a hard man. No, I think Grant Thomas uh, would look at that and say, look, we withstood the physical challenge, but, by gee, we could have nailed a lot more goals than we did. What a start to the game it was. Oh, well, I think everybody here, the 45,000 people, were all on the edge of their seats, weren't they? Because Essendon just came out and served it up. And you wondered where it was going to end. I thought a lot of the players showed great restraint under difficulties. But uh, the Bombers were hamstrung a little bit when Mark Johnson... And we see him there getting stuck into it. He started it off early, didn't he? Yeah, well, he's, he's evidently got a hamstring strain, so... He'll probably miss a couple of weeks, and McVeigh came off with a hamstring injury. They really only had two interchange players for that second half. Made it hard for them. That's having to play a hard game and then go ride a bike. Yes. Used to be a beer and a smoke, didn't it? Oh, yeah. That's changed a lot. <laughs> they look after themselves and, uh, you know, the recovery sessions, and you can see the fruit and the jelly beans being passed around, getting on the bike just to wind down. All of this is so important. Amount of smothers tonight, particularly from St Kilda, and it, and it resulted in a couple of handy goals for them. It too, did. Didn't it? I thought they were really strong in that area. Um, I think from our calculations, there were at least a dozen, and uh, it just shows how desperate the St Kilda players were. And uh, that's frustrating for the Essendon boys because you know they win the ball and then they just cannot get it away cleanly. And I just thought that was a real highlight of the match, the smothering by the Saints. Coaches love that, don't they? Oh, they do. They're the one percenters, and uh, that'll be on top of the sheet uh, that's given out to the players tomorrow. You know, and, and they'll also have a videotape highlight of the smothers and uh, the boys who did it. They'll be all patted on the back and made feel pretty good. And it just been, spreads a message through the team that this is what we want. What about the two key forwards for the Saints, uh, Fraser Gehrig and Nick Rewald? Did their job both off target tonight? They were. Um, look, Rewald is one of the best starters in the game. His first quarters. Uh, always good and I think he had eight disposals in the first quarter copped a few hard knocks was quiet in quarters two and three came back into it in the final term and uh, I think that's the strength of this St Kilda team it's hard to keep the three of them down for the entire game and you've got Rewalt, Hamill and Gehrig 
And, uh, yeah, they had their quiet patches, but they persisted. And in the end, the goals came their way. Pretty low-scoring game. Well, Fraser Gehrig's got ten goals in two games this season already. He's enjoying that uh, full forward position. When he played with West Coast, he played mainly as a fullback, as a defender, but uh, it looks like he's found his niche there. And uh, certainly the St Kilda players, they will kick it to him in a contest situation because they know he's got the strength. Well, a double celebration tonight for Andrew Thompson. He played his 150th match for St Kilda. He's with Christy Malthouse. Andrew, first of all, congratulations on your 150th and the win tonight. Yeah, what, in all your time that you've been here, what does it say about the mindset of the team that tonight you could all keep a cool head and play out the game like that after such a fiery start? Yeah, look, I think it's a great sign. We, we knew that Essen were going to come out and attack our bodies and, and try and rough us up a little bit, but we were really, really looking forward to that because we think we've got a pretty uh, strong side and uh, we've got some big, big bodies amongst us, so we were really looking forward to it. And uh, we, we were really also keen to make sure we focused on the ball and and especially the contested ball, and, and we uh, we kept our minds on the job, and it worked in the end, I think. So do you, did you prepare for that during the week, and knowing that it would be such a physical game and that you just had to stay calm? Oh, we didn't really prepare um, out on the track for it. Just mentally we mentioned it, and, um, yeah, we, we, we knew that that was a, a tactic they were going to use. So I think if uh, if we're going to be a good side, we have to be able to beat teams to do that. The, the best teams in the competition are physical teams, and that's how, how we want to be known, and we have to beat the best, and Eston have always been one of the better teams in it. Well, well done. Great Thanks, win. Chris. And once again, congratulations yeah. on your 150th. Thanks very much. Thanks. Well, how often now, and a few teams have tested the Saints young guys out and they've withstood the challenge mm -hmm. and gone on to win. How long does this sort of process go on, that they, they, they meet this... Uh, full-on stuff in the first quarter or so? Well, I think they'll have to do, uh, cope with it right through the season. And really, until they start to win final games, they haven't arrived. Yeah. Like, you know, they're still doing the apprenticeship as far as a developing team goes. Just to, just to mention on Andrew Thompson there, 150 games. Congratulations. He's a battler who's made himself into a pretty handy footballer. Started late as an AFL player and uh, 150 games up and one of the nicest young men you could meet in the game. Not bad for an old Melburnian? No, one of the amateur boys, but uh, as you can see there, he's just got a level head on him. I thought the way they took the win was significant too. There were no uh, cartwheels, there were no jumping on each other's backs. They won the game, they shook their opponents' hands, they grouped together, they acknowledged their supporters and killed it. It's a pretty professional unit. Scott Lucas had a pretty good game for the Bonners. Couldn't do it single-handedly, of course, but he, uh, he had 21 disposals and finished with four goals for. I like it when he plays up forward. I know that he can play well at centre-half back, and uh, he was right up there in the best and fairest for the Bombers last year as a centre-half back. But as an opposition coach, when you see Lucas Lloyd Hurd in the forward line, you start to get the shakes a little bit. And for a period there, they only had the two goal kickers, and that was Hurd and Lucas. And he kicked a couple of beauties. You know, he's a smart player, just opened up the angle there. Thought Hill was a little bit disappointing when he played in the forward line. Uh, I'd like to see Hill do a bit more in the ruck. But Scotty Lucas, uh, Did certainly, his job, didn't he? certainly one of the best tonight for the Bombers. Also doing his job tonight was James Hurd. We, uh, you probably sound like a broken record, don't we, sometimes? But you've got to marvel at his courage. And he's not a huge man by any stretch of the imagination. But 33 disposals. And will he kick the first two goals of the match for us in the first quarter? Just so courageous. Um, you know, he, he slips underneath packs there, gets the knees, gets the knocks. And uh, he got a couple of early goals to get the Bombers going. But I guess the problem is you need three James Hurst to be able to play that role in defence in the midfield when he goes in for the centre bounces and, of course, up forward. We see less and less of him up forward. This is interesting. Have a look. Yep. Well, I went really crook at this stage because, I mean, what's James Hurd supposed to do? I mean, is he supposed to just stand there and get poleaxed? No, I agree with you. I agree with you. And uh, he just was minding his own business. Andrew Thompson flew at him. He had to defend himself uh, because he made contact with... Thompson's head. Well, that's why the free kick went there. Centre breaks. Look at that. 17 to 7. Yes, well, that is uh, so important to get those quick clearances and they were quick and slick from the centre breaks. And the inside 50s, you know, they've had about 60 forward entries, the Saints. And that's why I think they'd be a little bit disappointed that they didn't kick more than the 13 goals that they got. And the free kicks tonight. A lot of free kicks. 47 free kicks. <laughs> the whistle was running hot <laughs> early, wasn't it? Well, here's the rankings, and James Hurd led the way from Lenny Hayes. Lenny Hayes uh, finished the night with 29 disposals. Hurd got 33. And Brett Voss up there in the top three. Well done. Luke Ball, 
gee, he had the ball on a string in that first half. And Fletch is high, isn't he? Right? He is, yeah, that surprised me a little bit. Aaron Hamill, slow early, came off, but uh, worked his way into the game. Matt Young McGuire. Matt McGuire. He's a beauty, isn't he? He is a beauty. Love the way he plays at centre half back. Harvey started on the interchange bench, and uh, I just thought he controlled the tempo of the game throughout the second, third quarter. And Ramanaskis running into some form. Yeah, I thought he was really good, Adam. Xavier Clark had a big last quarter. Yes, he, he spent a bit of time on the bench, but looked very lively when he came on in that final term. Justin Peckett started on the bench, came on, kicked a couple of goals, probably had a, two or three other shots. Now, Murphy's interesting, isn't it? 34, uh, ranked at number 34. Yeah, 23 disposals, 11 marks. In one quarter, the third quarter, ran absolutely hot, didn't have an opponent, and uh, it was Peckett in the last quarter who closed him down. All right, so St Kilda tonight uh, winning. They've got West Coast. No, they haven't. They've got Richmond on Easter Monday in Essendon. They've got West Coast next week here at Telstra Dome. That's an enormous game now, isn't it? Well, it will be because the, the Bombers don't want to be uh, zip three mm. after three rounds. It's a rounds. long way back from there, isn't it? It is a long way back, so that'll be a, a must win for the Bombers. We'll take a break. Back with more in a moment from the Telstra Dome.